Go on, Ivan. Yes. everyone how are you all doing now today blues have got bristol city at st andrews in our final game of 2023 it's gonna be a tough game bristol city a very good side when we played them at ashton gate we beat them 2-0 um it wasn't the easiest game but we took the lead in added time koji miyoshi with a wonderful strike um and then rob dickey got a red card um and lukas Zhukovic sealed the three points for us but today is going to be a different story um, both sides have had new managers since um, the last time that we played. Bristol City bringing in Liam Manning. Good manager, I like him. He's worked with the likes of Oxford where he did well, MK Dons. And I think he also, during his uh, learning days in management, was with West Ham and Ipswich, I think. Uh, so he certainly got experience. And they've won three in a row, Bristol City, beating Watford 4-1 last time out. So it's going to be a really tough game. Blues aren't really going to have much to cheer about in this one, I don't think, especially with the way which we're playing at the moment. Losses, although against Leicester, weren't too bad. Um, got the draw against Plymouth, which... If Bielik didn't get the red card, probably would have uh, got us three points. But we'll have to see what happens. I'm going to go 3-1 Bristol City today. Two minutes gone, nil nil. 
Not much has really happened in the game in terms of attacking. That's a chance. Then transfer to Keenan. Taylor Gardner Hickman on loan from West Bromwich Albion to cross the ball in. He's got a bad cross, already lets it get out of his hands. Well, doesn't let it, but ball goes out of his hands, but goes out for a Bristol City run. Well, there we go. That's half time, and certainly not an eventful one. No minutes of added time. There's been few chances, one or two for each side, and half time, nil nil. Well here we go, the second half about to begin, Blues just coming out. Can we see some goals in this second half? Hopefully, it wasn't a very entertaining first half. substitution for Blues.
Ramel Donovan coming off for Tyler Roberts.
this to win it. St Andrews, right. Bristol City with the corner. Crossed in. Defended. His Pring. Pring shoots over. Blue's going to get a point from this. It's all your fault. And it'll be a good point against the side who have won three in a row. Come on. Kessie Anderson. This to win it. And this will win it. We're moving into the 95th minute now. Out of five minutes of added time. In the way though. on Monday, start off the year, tough one. We'll see what we can do. But for now, full time at St Andrews. Birmingham City nil, Bristol City nil. <laughs> Could this be goodbye for Jay Stansfield? Leaves this town looking at him. Apparently already in uh, negotiations with Fulham. To sign him. Obviously he's only on loan at Birmingham. Blues fans have just booed Wayne Rooney while they were clapping him. Making their feelings known. It's not good enough. Well, I guess it's a point, isn't it? Um, not much to separate the two sides. Both sides having a few chances which they possibly could have scored. But I think you could tell from the first half it was going to end 0-0. And then chances which were being missed by both sides. As for Wayne Rooney... It's a tough decision to make because it's going to be a lot of money to fire him um, because of the contract which we've given him. Um, but it's not working, is it? Two wins from 14, 10 points from possible... Um, for, sorry, 42. Hopefully my maths is correct there. Um, so it's not good enough. And the Blues fans certainly showed that when... Wayne Rooney was walking around the stadium, booing a lot of boos. Wasn't really expecting uh, the boos to be that loud. But if Wayne Rooney didn't know about the the uh, frustration towards him, he certainly does now. But we move on. Leeds on the first day of 2024. I'll look forward to that one. I'll see you all there. Well played to Bristol City fans and Happy New Year to you all. Keep right on, everyone. Go on, Ivan. 